Uh, to introduce a Total Junker, I wrote a little brochure uh, because 11 volumes is a little bit hard for uh, a passerby to grasp. So here's a Q&A with me, which I, of course, wrote. Q. Are you kidding? Cosmically, yes. Otherwise, no, in thunder. Seriously, isn't it a bit much, 11 volumes? A slim volume of stuff nobody wants to read, like poetry, is much more user-friendly than a hefty tome. Anyway, my structure isn't authoritarian. It's federalist, an amalgam of states of consciousness. Anyway, my booklets serve as core samples, because it's hard to grasp the entire terrain, even and especially of a mundane life. A single scoop here, another there, makes the enterprise doable. Anyway, they're like the stones of an arch. Some have the majesty to stand alone, others are throwaways. Help fitted together with a well-engineered keystone, however, they form, I hope, what the French call an arc de triomphe. Even so, why must attention be paid? There's no moral obligation, and isn't that a relief for the reader, not having to slog through another drama queen's hysteria, another celeb's puffery? Surely there's some of what you call arc to the story? Of course. An old man feels lost upon retirement, like so many seniors. He looks back. He remembers stuff he'd forgotten. Another disaster hits. He struggles to get a grip. He realizes he survived before when clobbered. He sets out again. He pairs it all down, strips down his ego, achieves abstraction and affirmation. What more could you want? in a beach novel. And then let me read you the colophon of the final volume, that's volume 11 of A Total Junker. It's called Junker's Eye. It takes a monster ego to write a memoir this late in the game, yet I've already produced a panoply of meta-memoir. Now here's a final volume in the tradition of the Greeks. After a few, technically three tragedies, you get a sadder play rife with mock drunkenness, brazen sexuality, including phallic props, pranks, sight gags, sight gags, and general merriment. And the question is, who do I think I am? Actually, I'd like to rephrase that. What do I think I am? I think I may be the only word that could possibly serve as the sole word of a book. Better than that, it's the only letter with such potential. I is the letter that, most, that is most like the portrait of a human being, upright, relatively slim, pretty much of a piece. I suppose M is the letter most like a landscape. I has enough characters to stand on its own, whether shaped like an eponymous eye beam with serifs, those little wings, or as a slab, sans serif. This then is a typographic novel populated by 47 serifs and 50 sans serifs my eye novel. It is deeply impersonal, abstract to the point where you'd think I was joking if I suggested its plot is minimal. I mean, duh, it's all first-person singular pronouns, zero verbs, so how could there possibly be any action? You might think you've seen one eye, you've seen them all, but that, of course, is my challenge to articulate these singularities.